Now we start with the M1 block. It is a modified block, so we're going to work from the booklet here. And they've simplified it quite a bit, which is it gives the same effect. It's just a lot easier to get there. So um, this is what we're going to do, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to assemble this this unit here, and then put it applique it onto a background, and then we've got a log cabin effect. Um, rectangles, you got to put them on in orders. So you put this one on, and then you put this one on, and then this one, and this one, which is why it's the log cabin effect. So I got my pieces here. I have a directional fabric, so I've marked that, and I've made my um, center square line up that's going to go in this unit. So I'm going to go ahead and base these just so that then they're smaller and out of my way. And for these, again, you know, my squares I based like that. And then I'm going to do the points first here. And then I'll be able to do, because I'll get the sharpest point by doing the points first. And then I'll do this and then these big sides. So, um, and then this is pretty self-explanatory. I will put this into a row and then attach one one of these at a time. That will give me my X that I can then put on here. And we'll talk about how to center that as well. So I basted my center square and I basted the first one that I'm gonna add. I decided not to do them all. That way I just baste them as I go. So this one I've basted and put on the bottom and I'm gonna attach this at some point. But um, I've basted these here I've done my points, and I've done the flat side, and then I did the long side. So I'm, I did these three. So I'm going to connect these together in a row. So I've assembled the, the center section of my X unit, and now I will baste and attach the other two pieces to make this little X. I've completed my center X unit. And so I got my little leaf pointing it up. And this is going to go on the center portion of the square. And this is why I haven't attached it yet, because it's easier to do it when it's still small. So how do I get it so that it's pretty and perfect and great and awesome? You take a ruler or a straight edge of some kind. And I am going to put this corner to corner. And I'm going to take my white mechanical pencil and draw a line corner to corner and then I can line up these right on the line and then I'm going to take a stapler because it's paper and that makes sense to staple paper I'm going to take a stapler and put a staple in each one of these corners and then I will be ready to applique my piece on I've got my marks and then I was able to line up the points of the arrows and then I put a staple in each one. When you take the staples out, you have to be a little careful when you come up the top, but it's not that difficult. If you just take these and pry them open first, they come right out with relative ease. So now I'm going to um, applique this down. I have an applique video on how to do that and I will give you a little brief tutorial on how I do that here. So when I go to applique, I have the papers are still in. So you, you have a nice sharp edge that you can work with. And so I will sit, I started right about here and I brought, I started my knot underneath something and I just worked my way around and I'm about here now. When I stitch, I stitch under the edge. So you see the, where my needle is, it's right under the edge. So the stitch ends up hiding and I come up right on the edge of the paper. So that way my stitches can be relatively invisible and any stitches that are not invisible, once you take the paper out, the staples of course, and the papers come out, then it's going to settle in anyway. So the papers don't come out of this until the paper comes out of this. When you take apart your block and you take the paper out of here, you're going to see your stitch lines from the applique. So you trim with a quarter inch-ish or more seam allowance 
and you pick the papers out of these from the back. So that way you have a nice sharp edge with your papers and you can still use those and you still have a way of taking them out. So I'm going to finish my applique and then I'm going to be able to attach my log cabin bars. So I finished my applique and I took out my staples. So I'm going to put this over here and now it is time to attach the bottom bar. So I've attached the first bar and the next one's going to be on the left. So I basted that and I will put it on. Now the left side bar is attached and I've basted the top bar and I will attach it now. Top bar is attached and the last one is the right hand one which I just basted and I will attach. So now my right side bar is attached and I have a completed M1 block.